And I do want to give everyone an update because we visited Nicole at the Rose where she has been rehabilitating since that intervention you just saw. Here's her update. It's been 13 days since the intervention, seven days in detox, that was really hard, but now I feel amazing. The intervention was really emotional. I feel like shit. I was being so selfish and that I would put my family through that much more pain and my son losing both of his parents to drugs. And I just gotta do it for him and think that Joshua would want me to be here with his son. That's what is keeping me going. Oh my gosh. You haven't seen her since you left for rehab, right? I haven't. Well, Gina, are you ready to see your daughter? <laughs> Let's meet this brave young woman. Nicole, can you come on out? I would like to say um, you two really, truly are our angels. You have no idea. Not only did you give my daughter back to me, but you gave a two and a half year old son his mother back. Sweetheart, you've been in rehab for 16 days now, yeah? Yes. How are you doing with that? A lot better now. Like a lot better. I'm actually like, want to stay sober. Brandon, you understand something that that Nicole is going through because you've been through this yourself. And I, I want everyone at home to recognize that addiction is addiction for a reason. And the way heroin works in your brain is much like any other drug, it releases massive amounts of dopamine. And so over time you get that euphoric rush, but then you acquire more and more of the substance till you get to the point where you're physically dependent on that substance. And if you don't have it, you go through severe withdrawal symptoms. So the addiction is very real, it's very physical, it's very medical. And, and Gina, I know as a mother, you haven't always understood that, right? I don't understand it. I, what I would like to know is, why is it so addictive? Heroin is just like many of the drugs we use in medicine. It's like morphine. It blunts the effect of pain. That's why we give morphine in the hospital. And heroin does the same thing in life. It blunts pain, sometimes emotional pain. And over time, what happens is your brain depends on that substance for that release of, we call it dopamine. When you go through withdrawal symptoms, you're experiencing severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and just cold sweats until you get through that phase. But you don't get rid of addiction in just 16 days. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know that there's a long road ahead, right? Yeah, definitely. And we have someone else to help us out. I'd like to introduce Paige from the Rose Treatment Center in Newport Beach. Paige, thanks for being here. Thank you. So let's talk about Nicole, who is so brave. And you look so wonderful. You're 16 days into this. What does she expect now, 30, 60, 90 days? Let me just recovery? say she's doing amazing. What she can expect, you know, after the detox period, the first 30 days is a settling in phase. The first 30 days is obviously very painful. She's going through the post-acute withdrawal symptoms as well. But it's that 60 to 90 day hurdle that we need to get her through. Nicole, you have a beautiful son. And I know you said that leaving Mason feels like Josh leaving you. When's the last time you saw Mason? Six, 15, 16 the day days ago. No, adventure. not even, the night before. The night before he slept with you, remember? Do you miss him? Yeah. Well, we have Mason here today to see you. Can we bring Mason out? Oh. <laughs> Hi, baby. Give me a hope. Oh, can I kiss? So, Nicole, you're doing so great. This journey, though, is just beginning. Paige, we want to thank you and the Rose Treatment Center. Nicole, you look wonderful.